So, as you guys know, I love my physical media, and I have quite a bit of it. Um, but one thing I've never really talked about, which I've kind of gotten into in the last few years, is art books of games. I don't have a lot, but I do have a few, and today we're going to go through them, my thoughts on them, and some things that I don't like about certain ones. We will mention stupid digital art books. Those are dumb. They shouldn't be a thing. Up first, we'll start with the smaller one. This is from uh, Life is Strange Before the Storm. Um, this is like a different take on an art book because it's more like a journal, which I really like because uh, Life is Strange um, as well, the first one, also has that same kind of thing going on. So like if we were to look through this one, like it has art, but it's more of, I mean, there's some concept stuff like Obviously, they don't look like that in-game, but it's concept art. But, I mean, obviously, outfit, outfits here. Like, this feels more like a journal. You can see all the little drawings everywhere. And it's really what makes this kind of different and um, unique. This is spoilers for any game. If, for anyone who hasn't played any of these games. So this is a, this is a smaller one, which I like because the other Life is Strange one is like the exact same thing. But this one's honestly more of a journal than the Before the Storm one is. Very nice. Nice and small. There is a bigger version of these, um, but it's like, like the Blackwell Academy, I think is what it's called. I kind of want to get it, um, which is really... Kind of interesting. So yeah, like this is... Oh my god, I I haven't opened this. I don't want to... I'm not going to open it too far because I don't want to ruin it. But this one has concept art as well. Honestly, this one feels less like a journal. More like a travel guide kind of thing. Just looking at the background of them. Um, but these, these Life is Strange ones feel like a bit of a journal. Which is kind of cool. They've got concept art and everything, but they feel more like a journal, which is, it's different. By the way, I know I'm a big PlayStation person. This is the one Xbox game I have because it's the only one I could find that was complete with the soundtrack and art book. And the PlayStation ones were like over a hundred. For some reason, those go for like way more in the Xbox version. I don't understand why. All right, that took way longer than it should have. Next up is The Last of Us Part Two Special Edition that came with an art book. It's a smaller art book, but it's still very nice. Um, and this will kind of lead us into the bigger art books, which I prefer. I do have another smaller art book, um, the Bioshock Infinite one that came with the collector's edition, but it is not an easy access right now. Um, but yeah, I've looked through this one before. It's actually um, horizontal instead of vertical, which is kind of cool. Most of the time they're, well, eh, kind of just depends on who makes it. But honestly, The Last of Us Part 2 one has tons of concept art. Like, it's so nice. Tons of concept art. Concept art for Abby, for... Those people, what is that? Mel? That might be Mel. Um, yeah. So, really nice. Cousin landscape here. I'm just flipping through a few fa few pages. Um, yeah, really like these. Now, I, f I prefer the bigger art books. And you can usually get okay deals on these too. Because I got a heck of a deal on this. So this is The Last of Us Part 2 art book. 
but it is the deluxe version. So it is the kind of both, I think there's two different ones and they're kind of combined into one here or something like that. Um, but this retails, you can still buy it full price for like 90 bucks or something. I found this like new open box for 20 bucks and it is, I opened it up, I think I got this two weeks ago when I'm recording this. Um, so like, yeah, two weeks ago when you're seeing it, it was basically brand new. Like, not even kidding. Brand stinking new. This thing is really cool. I've looked through it a little bit. I haven't completely looked through it yet though. It comes with this really cool thing here as well. Like, look at how cool that is. I didn't even expect that, but. I don't know how you display that, but it's cool. Got the nice slip case. This is all in a slip case, by the way, but I mean, look at that. Beautiful. This is one of my favorite games, so. But like this thing is way bigger than that tiny one. Like it shows way more. Like, I don't think any of the stuff that's in this one was in the small one. Like this thing's huge. We got Ellie, tons of Ellie. That's why it was cheap, because there's a mark on the bottom, a small mark. I got this like new, because there's a small mark. It's hard to show on camera, but yeah, there you go. Small little mark there. That is the first time I've noticed it. Like, it is not that noticeable. Totally worth it. But tons, tons more concept art in here I absolutely just love looking through these I think art books are like great coffee table books that you can just have sitting out and when people come over you can they can just look through them like or they're like say you're on the couch watching something and you just kind of want to look at something just look at these I do that all the time I absolutely love these they're great to look through because you honestly who sits and goes through a whole art book at once because I don't I just kind of look, look through it when I have time but like these are really nice for just when I'm thinking about something oh I can look at the concept art for it and it's hard to do that with the smaller ones um, so I definitely prefer the bigger ones like I showed this off in the last, in the, well, not Last of Us, the Bioshock 2 Special Edition video, the art book. You've already seen a little bit of this, but, you know, nice, big, cool concept art. Yeah, I already kind of talked about this one. This one's really cool. You can go watch that video where I talk about it. Um, so my last big art book is the Bayonetta 3 one that came in the Trinity Mass Grader something version of the game. This one's really cool. It's really nice too. Like, I absolutely love this thing. Now this thing I feel like does a really good job of concept art and it doesn't, it's kind of cool because it shows like the languages and it's labeled in sections too about what, I don't know what you'd call it, arcane everything is. This is gonna be even harder to show on camera. But look at how beautiful that is. It's gorgeous. Like the details even with just what page it is. It's hard to show. Um, Cause my mic's in the way, but you can look it up for yourself too. Um, but gorgeous. Like, look at the detail and just the page number alone. That is crazy. Like, these are so well is, il, uh, 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 illustrated. And they're gorgeous. Like, I love this one a lot. Very pretty. I love them. The only one I'm not showing here that I also have is the Bioshock Infinite one, like I said. And I will pop up a few images of that here. Now there is one thing I wanted to talk about and it's stupid digital art books. For instance, the Horizon games do this. Why is it called an art book? It's not a book, it's it's digital. It should just be like, 
shouldn't call it a book. But I mean, I know there are mini art books, but I hate the digital art books. Like, no one's gonna look at those. I look at it once and I'm like, this is lame. I'd rather have an actual book. Now, I know people are like, oh, I don't want to have the books around, but I like it. I think it's really cool. But digital art books are so dumb. There's... I feel like half the time no one actually looks at them. I'd, I'd say 90% of the time no one looks at those. And 10% are like the real like super fans of it that actually look at it. I prefer, I prefer, and I'm sure a lot of other people prefer physical art books rather than digital ones. Cause I'm like, digital ones, you look, you literally look at once and then you delete it. And most of the time people don't even do that. Don't, they don't even download it even though it comes with like their pre-order or something like that. Um, but I just think they're so bad. They're such a waste of time. Just make a physical copy. It's so much, it's such a better experience. But yeah, that's art books. I like them a lot. I wanna get more. There's a few more that I wanna get. And if you're interested in getting art books, look for like, like new or open box ones because usually it's just they have like a small little mark on a page and they can't sell it as new. Like I did with The Last of Us Part 2 one. Uh, in the comments, let me know if you have any art books or if you if you like the physical art books as well. Um, if you like the digital art books, please, please tell me you don't like the digital art books. <laughs> but yeah, let me know if you have any physical art books, if you like art books as well. Uh, and yeah, that's gonna do it for today. And I will see you guys in the next one.